What is going on guys? Welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Sacred Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. I know this is a very unexpected LP, but this is a long awaited one that I've wanted to do forever. So today I am bringing you guys the very first episode, like I said, of the Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke of Sacred Gold. I don't know where I'm going with that, but today we're going to be starting kicking off this brand new series. Um, fun fact for you guys, I've never actually played Pokemon, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, never played them. I did play the old Gold and Silver back in the day, but I have never played the new one. So I thought, hey, before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon come out, let's go ahead and kick off a brand new LP. Um, I kind of am kicking out the Omega Ruby Egg Lock out the window because it is very tedious to do, especially with eggs and all that and such. So I decided, hey, let's go ahead and start a brand new LP today. So like I said, if you guys are hyped for today's new LP and you're ready to take this journey with me, go ahead and smash that like button down below as it is greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on an episode and more importantly, more importantly, make sure you guys leave a comment on today's video as it would be greatly appreciated. Now, this series is hopefully I wanting to finish before Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon come out. So we're going to try to at least upload a episode a day. I know it's going to kind of seem a little unorthodox at first, um, but hopefully we can get through it. So without further ado, hopefully we don't keep taking up your time and uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Now, there is one thing about this game that I have figured out, and that is because you cannot randomize the starters. So obviously, I have a solution to that. Obviously, if you guys have seen the Sacred Gold uh, randomizers, uh, you know the solution to that. But if not, we can go ahead and go over it. So I need to go ahead and click no info needed. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see voices on this series. I'm not sure if I want to do voices. Like, I've never really been the big guy to do voices in a series. So it's going to be kind of like iffy for me. But if you guys want to see voices, let me go ahead and know in the comment section below. I think today's episode, I'm probably just going to be kind of playing like a normal voice person, you know. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. So, da 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 da. <sighs> mm. Huh? What? Is it already that late? Oh no, I overslept. All right, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that this intro is the same. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the Sacred Gold or Storm Silver, a hack with an expansion of features. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to take a few things that you should know. Um, let me go ahead and use a native Pokemon. Alright, I do have the speed up button. This is kind of another reason why I want to start a new LP. is because on the 3DS games, you cannot have a speed up button. And I'm sorry, but I'm a big speed up fanatic. So if you guys are not a fan of that, uh, you guys, like I said, can kind of just ignore it until we get to the more story mode. I'm not going to be using the speed up feature a whole lot, but I am going to be using it uh, quite a few times. So the Johto and Kanto regions were known for having only a fraction of the Pokemon within its borders. But large scale migration has brought a great variety to the region's fauna. There are new challenges awaiting you, and a great amount of differences how you'll raise your Pokemon. Okay, oh, yes, see you, cuz. I don't know why I'm doing that. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? I am a cuh. I'm a cuh. I'm a suh. I'm a suh, cuh. Um, yes, I am going to be a boy. Let's go ahead and pick our name. We are going to... Now... As a kid, I never really, like, like Nappy I always did. I've always, like, used capitals, but I think this one, I'm going to be a sophisticated human being with uh, an education. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just use capital letters with lowercase letters as well. So, your name is Cypher. Yes, it is, my boy. Cypher Beasy on the Overwatch speaker, or uh, the Overwatch thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Cypher, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Let's go into the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. If you ever want to find out some of the changes, check the documents that should have come with your game. Most of, or most, if not all information you should need can be contained, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that, Dre. Dreano. Okay, we got our own bedroom cut. Looking pretty slick. We got the bed. Crawl up in there. What a comfy bed. Cypher took a nap. But it's the middle of the day. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this old ass system we got, yo. Look at this old ass system. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait. Do I have that potion? Please let me have the potion. Or a rare candy. That works, too. Oh, it's just mail from Lyra. We don't want no mail from Lyra. We don't want no mail from Lyra. Because... But like I said, I've never played these games a day in my life. So like I said, this is going to be a totally big challenge for me. Especially playing on a Dreano hack the first time you play through it. So hopefully we can make this. Because I just watched Shady's Sacred Gold. Egglock, unfortunately, he lost that. 
RP. Um, but I think we got faith. So uh, the encounters are going to be randomized. Um, everyone that we go through the game is not going to be randomized. The only thing that's going to be randomized are, I think, the items and the Pokemon. But let's go ahead and do uh, some voices. You know what? I decided to do voices. About time you woke up. Professor Elm wanted to see you. Here's your things. Here's your things. I'm your mother. I hear Johto has changed a lot in the last few years. You should be careful, Cypher. Here, take your running shoes. Oh my god got the running shoes see this is why this game was dope because i remember it, like i played a little bit of it but like like the beginning and then that's kind of like when like pokemon drifted off from my life and then it kind of came back but uh, i remember getting the running shoes early in the game and mwah, great feature you'll probably want your bike music player as well you get the bicycle too oh we don't even have to go we don't even have to go Cypher obtained GB sounds. We don't care about no GB sounds. I ain't, when am I ever going to use GB sounds? All right. See, this is where perfect timing of the speed up button comes. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, a key item can be stored there. I have my controller hooked up. Um, so, you know, what? I kind of need to use the uh, the mouse for this one. So we're going to go ahead and go into fast text speed, battle scene on, sound, stereo. Let's go with the frame. Ooh, I get to pick the frame. Ooh, I like that one. We're going to go ahead and click that. All right. So now let's go ahead and continue our story of the Pokemon Sacred Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. Like I said, I'm pretty excited to use this. Also, thank to my boy Calbus. Uh, I will leave a little annotation on the screen. Or if not, he is the creator of the graphics, which was hella clean. And uh, we see Lyra right here. So like I said, go check out my boy Calbus for some graphics. I uh, definitely kind of wanted a skiz kind of look to this series. And he definitely gave me that, which is pretty dope. So... I think that's Lyra. I'm pretty sure that's Lyra. As her uh, stupid little Meryl ran into me. Would well, that be kind of dope if they randomized that, to be honest? But uh, let's go ahead. I think we go straight up into Professor Elm's office, I'm pretty sure. Hello, Professor Elm. <clears throat> Hi, Cypher! I've been waiting for you to arrive. I've been curious about how Pokemon feel walking outside of their Pokeballs. I was hoping I could have your help with these tests. I'm your dude. My dude! Oh, hey, I got an email. Mm, uh huh? Okay. Huh? Okay. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, okay. 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 Mm, hello. Hey, listen. I know a person named po Mr. Pokemon who finds all sort of crazy stuff. He says he says something, but we're so busy with our research. Can you pick it up for us? You can take one of these Pokemon out of the machine. It's like that easy. It's like all the other games, like um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you had to work for the Pokemon. You didn't just like automatically get given to you. See, make me work for it, cuz. So as you guys can see on your screen, um, we have the normal Pokemon Chikorita, we have Cyndaquil, and we have Totodile. See, these Pokemon are all going to be the same. Um, the reason why is because, like I said, you cannot randomize these Pokemon. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put my controller down real quick. And we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Pokemon Ran Generator. Now, as you guys can kind of see, you're on your screen. We have this random generator, and what I'm going to do is the Pokemon that we pick from here, I'm going to Pokegen into the game that we have now. So, uh, obviously we have to generate three Pokemon. We're going to do all regions. Now, the unfortunate part is you can't pick a certain region to pick your Pokemon from. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put all regions, and then we're going to kind of keep hit regenerate until we get exactly Pokemon from Gen 4 and below. So, without further ado, and like I said, I'm not going to be doing a pick our starter episode. I'm just going to be straight blunt about it and just go ahead. And once I have three Pokemon that are from Gen 4 and below, I'm going to go to random.org and I'm going to hit numbers one, or sorry, hit numbers one through three. And whatever Pokemon we get from there, we are going to use to start this series. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and generate some Pokemon one through four. So, those Pokemon, there's Gen 5 there. Uh, this Pokemon has a Gen 6, this Pokemon has a Gen 5, this Pokemon has a Gen 5 and 6 as well, and this Pokemon has Gen 6, and boom! Here's our Pokemon selection, actually. So we have a Umbreon, a Grovile, and a Dodrio. I am actually not upset about these Pokemon, to be honest with you. I'm actually kind of excited for these. Wow! Okay, okay. So we could potentially have a Sceptile, an Umbreon, or a Dodrio. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and switch over to the random.org. So Grovile is going to be number one, Dodrio is going to be number two, and Umbreon is going to be number three. And boom, we're going to hit that. And we have number one, which is Grovile. That is a perfect starter Pokemon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and switch back to our screen. Not that one. 
this one because we are offline. But today we are going to be go ahead and pick uh, Grow Vile. So with that being said, I will catch you guys here in a second and we'll get the episode started with our starter Pokemon Grow Vile. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have our nice and powerful Grovile. So let's go ahead and take a look at him. I didn't do anything too crazy to him. I just kind of uh, basically put the Cyndaquil in there, looked up Grovile's like first level up moves and went from there. So today we have Genji, our nice and powerful Grovile at level five. Uh, obviously with some just randomized EVs and every er, uh, IVs and everything. And uh, where is the moveset to this guy? Oh, the moveset is at the bottom screen. Duh, I am an idiot. So today, he has Pound, Leer, Absorb, and Quick Attack. That is going to be the level up moves, and obviously we can go from there. So that's going to be Genji, the nice and powerful female Grovile. I don't know why. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into today's little episode of the Pokemon Sacred Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. So, Cypher, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Glad they're not Pokeballs, because I am not ready. Pokemon in the we are, are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours are in danger. Uh, yeah, because it's a Nuzlocke, and we don't want to lose Pokemon in a Nuzlocke. So, look at Lyra and her little Meryl. <laughs> Cypher, you got yourself a Pokemon. I got myself some Starbucks. Definitely not stealing this from anyone else. I gotta say, it's really cute. The Starbucks mermaid on the front, she looked good. When you walk with it, it will become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Bye. I don't know why I did that stupid bit with the Starbucks. Well, let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, let's go show our mom our sweet little dinosaur guy because he's dope. I'm gonna show my mom's. Mom's gonna be like, oh man, you so cool, bro. Why are you so cool, man? Oh, Cypher. Oh, wait, that's the same mom. Oh, Cypher. That's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor L must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? Dot, dot, dot. Ah, see, that's like a, that's like a, like a little secret. That's like them swearing in Pokemon terms. I see. That's a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Poke Gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. I never had one to begin with. I don't know what you're talking about. Cypher received the Poke Gear. Hell yeah. I'm finna call so many females on that line. I know when my hotline bling. The Poke Gear, or the Poke Gear, as it's often called, is what my voice changes, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use your Poke Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes! Gosh, Mom, I'm going back. You're like the most interactive mom ever. Just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of people you can call are automatically registered. Oh my god, I forgot that's a thing where they call you every 10 seconds. Fuck. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Yeah, out of my face, vile woman. Now let's go ahead and continue this story. Making my way downtown, walking fast. All right, so where do we have to go now? We have to go to Pokemon Professor. Wait a second. <laughs> Come on, Elm. Jeez, man, this is what the speed up's going for. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. So how did you know I just got my Poke Gear back? You're my dad secretly, aren't you? You know, it's funny, because no one ever asked about what happened to Silver's dad. But everyone always wonders what happens to, I guess, I guess really what happened to all of our dads, honestly. Aren't we all really dead in the inside? I'll call you if anything comes up. Thanks, Elm, my boy. Mwah, Elm, my boy. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. Route 29. Now, I th believe this is still randomized. It is still randomized because we literally just got a, a, a uh, encounter of a Groudon. Oh, crap. <gasps> uh, uh, it hurts. Can we run? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I can't be taking on no Groudons at first, but it is randomized that we know of, so a Groudon could potentially be our first encounter, as well as a can But I'd rather take a Groudon. Would rather take a Groudon, to be honest. Oh, I meant to uh, battle that thing, but whatever. Uh, it's fine. It's not a big deal. 
because I guess I should be training my Pokemon at this point. Um, but I think I have the catch them all mode on, so that means we can actually get just random encounters every time. Uh, but let's go ahead and fight this guy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pound real quick. Poison powder? I don't like that, son. That's my only Pokemon. Quick attack. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. A critical hit there. Not even bad. And we grow a level. What's up? Genji's in this bitch. All right. Let's go ahead and keep on continuing. Oh, my God. The poison screen is actually the worst. We're gonna go ahead and absorb you real quick. This is Lyra's Marrow. This is for running into me earlier, son. Out of here. Get out of here. But uh, like I said, if you guys are enjoying the series so far and you wanna see more of this, uh, definitely go ahead and show that love on this very nice pilot episode of the Sacred Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. Um, let's go ahead and keep on keeping on. And I would love to heal my Pokemon because I'm already poisoned. And uh, we need to save these potions because I've heard this game is quite the challenge. Heard it's actually quite the challenge. So I decided that instead of playing it reckless, we're going to play it super, super safe. And I need to itch my eye. So let's keep on moving. Keep on keeping on. So yeah, but like I'm actually pretty satisfied with playing Gen 2 actually. I haven't played Gen 2 in actually God knows what forever. Um, what's up here? Oh wait, that's just... Uh, I think it's just like another area to like catch Pokemon. I don't know why I'm running up there when my goal's like way, way over there. Oh, I'm about to hit you with the finest of absorbs real quick. Go ahead and eat this. Yaga. That's about to be some mwah, EXP. Oh, I'm about to annihilate my rival. Who should my rival be though? Who should my rival be though? Who on earth should be my rival? That, my friends, is actually a good question. Who on earth should be my rival? Knock off, though? Hello? Hope I didn't have a berry. I'm pretty sure in the old games they did were holding a berry in the beginning, though. Hey, level 8 already. Not bad. Yeah, like I said, these pointless battles I'm probably going to be skipping. I want that item up there. Nah, I shouldn't have went for the berry. Ooh, it's Aura Bomb. Aura Basic. Alright, um, let's go ahead and go with Absorb. I kind of have an idea of who I want my rival to be just because my rival is usually the same. Oh, 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 no, no, we gotta get out of here. We's gotta get out of here. That would have been some nice EXP, though. It's an apricorn tree. There's no reason to take it. Oh, man. Do I not have a bag yet or something? That blows. Cherry Grove City. Oh, this is the guy who teaches you the town map thing, right? You're a rookie trainer, right? Let me show you around. Follow me. Okay. Okay, come on. Jeez, man, I know things. I've been doing this for like four years now, cuz. My chair's squeaky. This is the Pokemon, yada, yada, yada. He's gonna show us up another route, which we have to go, which we're gonna go to anyways, but. You know, this old guy just wants to be how old guys be. You know, just showing you everything. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Oh, did I change? The, I think I changed the tax speed, didn't I? Please give me the town map. An old rod, even better. So that means we can get an encounter here, there, there, and up here, though. Hello, Catch City. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and keep moving on. Roll on, roll on, roll the coaster. Who's over here trying to stop me? Oh, my God. I made it. I forgot about one thing. There, this is another token for me. Take it. The gent guide, the map card. Okay, so now we have the map card. Perfect. And I believe that's in our Poke Gear. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very nice. Very nice, Mr. Old Man. All right, let's go ahead and keep on keeping on. What is this? What is this? 
This gonna be quite the challenging game. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now, but I think our IVs into our Genji was actually pretty decent, if I remember. If I remember, I think it was some pretty decent randomized EVs. Oh, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be some nice EXP. Aqua Ring? What's that? What What is that? What is that to a Grow Vial? Please tell me what that is to a Grow Vial. Go ahead. I'm about to clean that ass up with this imaginary mop that I got, son. Delicious. Delicious. Alright, so this game's gonna be quite the challenge, I feel like. Definitely gonna be quite the challenge. Uh, Makuhita. Makuhita. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and absorb real quick. Let's see what this does. Tackle ain't doing nothing. Like I said, I'm just trying to really go ahead and uh, get through for this first episode. And then kind of, now that we have the trailer down and everything, I think we're pretty good to go. Um, so I want to make my way up to uh, the Pokemon Professor or whatever his name was. Uh, we're going to skip that house. Well, never mind. He's going to come out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Are we really all dead on the inside? I said that earlier. Hey, kiddo. How? In the That's my dad. That is my dad right there. How in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Hold it right there. Like, dude, your house... Actually, I'm not gonna lie. You have a window on the... Th you have a window on your roof. That is actually pretty catchy. I'm not even gonna lie with you. When you follow that patch up north, you will see po Mr. Pokemon's house. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorns? You mean those things I tried to get earlier that I couldn't because I have nothing to hold them in? I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be, because I have something for you. The apricorn box. Now I can go back to that apricorn tree, grab what's on the apricorn tree, take the apricorns, and make Pokeballs out of them. With that apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a decent apricorn collector. Very, very nice. But we have a Pokemon... We have, a, we, have, we have to go be a Pokemon We have to go be an responsible adult and go do things, and that's a Manaphy. This is going to be Legendary City. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. But let's go ahead and absorb this guy. This is going to be a pretty big challenge, I think. But it's meaning for some good encounters. I will tell you that. Actually, you know what? Watch. I'm going to run into all these Legendary Pokemon, but all my encounters are about to be complete booty cakes. Guarantee it. Guarantee all of my encounters are about to be complete booty cakes. I ain't even, I'm not even lying right now. Watch. Like, uh, it's like I'm going to get, like, little, like, Smeargles and Caterpies as my regular encounters. But, like, or my, like, catch encounters. But as soon as I go into another patch of grass where I've already caught another Pokemon. Watch. It's going to be stupid. Alright. We got to, we got to hurry up. We got to hurry up because this episode is, it's, it's taking a decent time. Okay, so that tells me that's an antidote. So that kind of tells me that the items aren't randomized. Those guys are battling up there. I don't think I can go that way. I think I have to go. Let's just follow our instincts and go follow the Pokemon Professor. How about that? Let's just do that. It's Cynthia. But let's go get this apricorn because the guy gave us the apricorn box. He was so kind enough to give us an apricorn box. So that means we have to go get some apricorns. That is such a sick animation though. Let's open this guy's mailbox, too. And let's talk to Cynthia. Oh, hello. Mr. Pokemon said he was expecting a young trainer to arrive. Is your name Cypher, by chance? It is. Thank you. I'm recognized by a champion. I see. I guess you are the trainer Mr. Pokemon was expecting. My name is Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer who hails from Sinnoh. Tell me, Cypher, have you heard a story that tells the tale of the legendary trainer? You haven't? I'll briefly explain the story tells the tale of how a trainer travels the lands of Johto and Kecho, catching all Pokemon known to mankind. He captures the most basic of Pokemon, and even the most mythical of Pokemon, to eventually come face to face with the one who the Pokemon call God. Bird Jesus. Pidgeotto. Pidgeot. Pidgeot. Definitely Pidgeot. The archaeology in the Johto region appears to, be to the back existence of this story. It's interesting to be sure. Thank you for listening to my, or thank you for, oh. I can talk, I swear. Thank you for listening to me, Cypher. You know, you remind me of a trainer I knew from Sinnoh. 
You may not know it yet, but I think you are capable of great things. In fact, I'd like to help you reach your maximum potential. Here, let me give you a small gift. We're gonna just go ahead and secretly dab. I think, honestly, Evie. What are we naming Evie? Let's go ahead and name her. Uh, let's go ahead and name him uh, Bob. I don't know why I just came up with this. Bob Hope. We're gonna name our Evie Bob Hope. I don't know why I just named Evie Bob Hope, but it's Bob Hope. The numerous possibilities of evolution for Eevee make it a, a very interesting Pokemon. I wonder what you'll decide to evolve Eevee into. It's Bob Hope. It's not Eevee, it's Bob Hope. Perhaps we'll cross paths again, Cypher. But until then, farewell. Thank you, Cynthia. Let's go ahead up and do this thing. Ah, Mr. Pokemon. You must be Cypher. It is who I, er, It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Come on, old man. Get the walking. Get that cane going. This is what I. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine: the mystery egg. I know who's in that mystery egg. As everybody knows who's in that mystery egg. A friend of mine from Ecrotech gave it to me. I bet you can't find. I bet. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell you what this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous po Professor Oak. You're returning to Professor Oak. Oh my gosh! Dude, I cannot talk today. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. I thought I was not recording, but I am recording. Thank you. And here we go, Professor Oak walking all super slow like he's big shit. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So, you're safe. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what is this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. That's my boy. That's my girl, Genji. Genji Ida. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like me to help you out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data of Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Cypher received the Pokedex. Again, Yaga. I'm over here making moves. I'm over here being a big time trainer. I'm ready to take on the Elite Four now. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Cypher, I have a feeling that it's not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. But I mean, like, who do you know is friends with Professor Oak, though? Or a champion, Cynthia. Who knows? I am. Are we good to go? Alright, we're good to go. Let's get going. I think we're going to end the episode when we hit... Okay, Professor Elm, Jesus, what do you call me for? H Hello, Cypher? It's a disaster. Um, It's just terrible. What should I do? It, uh, oh, no. Please, get back here now. <gasps> I picked Cyndaquil, so that means my opponent is going... Or my rival, I should say, is going to get... Totodile, and that's going to give me such a good advantage. Such a great advantage. Well, let's go ahead and run home if these legendary Pokemon just leave me alone. No. They're not going to leave me alone. Why would they leave me alone? I'm Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan. Speaking of Kangaskhan, I actually just watched that Pokemon episode just recently. Um, I think we're pretty trained up right now. I'm going to go ahead and speed up through this and this is why i like the speed up button honestly because it helps you get through the game a lot faster <laughs> like i said i'm not like doing this as a speedy lp but it helps speed through some pretty 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 long cutscenes. so that's our second paris we've seen that is our second oh why did i run into that grass that's why i don't like the speed button. it kind of holds up things Okay, so maybe this isn't on catch em all mode because we've already seen a Makuhita. So we have the potential to get a Suicune, a Groudon, a Manaphy, and uh, a Parasect. And a Makuhita. And a Taylor. And a lot of other Pokemon we've seen. Alright, let's go ahead and run back. I probably could have just jumped over that ledge, but. YOLO. Oh, even a Gabite. That's lit. That's Liddy right there. That's actually kind of Liddy. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Genji, I see you. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, dude? Oh. Oh. Do you have Shadow Tag? Oh, that's bad. That's bad if you have Shadow Tag. Charm? Oh, boy. Stupid little why not. Encore? That's fine. I'm taking you down, son. Alright, let's go ahead and get back to Professor Elm because he said something bad happened. Let's heal up our Pokemon first real quick. Dude, I am about to blow back my opponent, and I think I know who I want to name my opponent, honestly. Or my rival, I should say. I've been thinking about this one long and hard as the episode's been rolling, roll on, roller coaster. But yeah, I think I have an idea of who I want to um, name my rival. So let's go ahead and head back to Professor Elma Boy. Oh, I thought, there it is. There's the battle scene. And there is our rival. There's that other cuss word dot 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 again. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's what a Pokemon's too good for a wind black you. Ch sick. Don't forget what I'm saying. Ch -ch That's a yikes for me. Well, I too have a Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Ch Live it out in Vegas. Ch I'm so trill, if you know who I am. Son, let me go ahead and just blow you back real quick. Totodile? More like Frodo-dial. I don't know what that means. But uh, go ahead and give me this quick EXP though. Get out of here. And I can't wait to name you. I can't wait to name you, because you already know who I'm naming him. His name rhymes with Fatty Pills. If you know who Fatty Pills is, you know who our rival is. I don't know what he just said, but I don't care because he's kind of irrelevant in the Pokemon community, you know? Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Um, skip it a bap bap doop bap bap bap. Damn, dude, what are you looking for? Give it back, that's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. Yes, I did see your name. And I think it's quite litty. All right, let's go ahead and run back to Professor Elm, and uh, we'll kind of cut this episode clean and dry. And then we shall jump into episode two. Also, you guys like my sweet Gengar shirt? It says 94, 909, 94. But what about 04? I don't know what I'm doing. I actually have no life, guys. Oh, come on, just one more Pokemon. We're almost there. We almost made it out of the grass. Let's go ahead and run back to our boy, Professor Elm. I don't know why I did that with my shirt. You just kind of get bored of kind of recording. I'm actually excited because like I've actually never done an LP where I can have a speed up button. All right, so we're gonna finish up the scene and we're gonna finish the episode. Wh who are you? We are investigating the case of missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. Catch me, cuz. I'm out here breaking the rules like a badass. Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. Yeah, there was. You didn't see him? What? You battled the boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? I did. And his name is... P to the A to the T to the Y. Because his name was Patrils. That's right, my boy Pterodactyl, a.k.a. my boy Patrick. Go subscribe to him. I will leave his channel link in the description below. I see, so Patty was his name. Actually, you know what? Patty does fit a redhead kid's name. It's weird. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to, re is to search for the, the redhead individual. See ya. Cypher, I'm glad they understand who you are. You're, you're innocent. See you later. Thanks, Lyra. Get, thanks for helping me get out of the cut, bro. The ops were definitely about to be on my case. <laughs> Cypher, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What's Ms. Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Hand it over the mystery egg. Even though he's going to hand it right back. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg. Maybe something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might be able to... See what secrets it holds. I don't know. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? 
Oak gave you a Pokedex? Cypher, is that true? That, that's incredible. He was a verb at seeing the potential of po people as trainers. Wow, Cypher, I knew that you were a little different. Things are going to be very fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League champion. Or not. Haha. <laughs> Becoming the champ- Why? Because this is like a really hard challenge? You think I just can't up and become a champion? Because it's sacred gold? I'm about to defeat this game, cuz. Becoming the champion is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet Gym City. Or Violet City- Violet City Gym, I don't know. Cypher, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. And uh, with that being said, I think we will talk to our mom in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed the very first episode of the Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock... This is not an Egglock. This is a Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you guys are hyped for the uh, rest of the Pokemon Sacred Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke, be sure to drop a like on today's episode as it was greatly appreciated. And it will be greatly appreciated. Like I said, I'm going to try to drop this at least once a day or possibly four or three times a week let me know in the comments from below what kind of schedule you guys would like to see also question of the day is going to be who is your favorite johto starter let me know in the comment section below and with that being said hope you guys enjoyed definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any more of the pokemon sacred gold randomizer nuzlocke with that being said i will catch you guys in the very next episode of the pokemon sacred gold nuzlocke as i said not one not two but three but four times so with that being said please have yourselves a great morning night evening day wherever you're at and i'll talk to you guys later thank you for watching what is cracking good we'll see you.